Welcome back to Harley's Modern Life. We are back on the Buick again today. I think we're going to tackle this fender over here using some of the same techniques that we discussed yesterday. This one should be pretty quick and simple. And uh, maybe we can get to that door dent also and see what we can do about pulling those out a little bit. I think this should give you a pretty good angle on how this dent looks right here. It's got this paint splaked up, which we're probably going to lose that because the bottom crease of the dent's right here and we're going to have to hammer on that. So we need to try to bring this down a little. Bring the uh, compression down on there a little bit. Unfortunately, it's got this body line right here, which is a little bit creased inwards. So that's going to be difficult. But uh, today, I've actually put a little bit of tape on the block so that I don't want to damage this paint any more than I have to. And we'll see what we can get knocked loose. With this being right here really close to this seam that's going to be hard to make any movement in yeah we're probably going to lose that paint right now and this one also kind of goes right to that body line so this is a toughie and that gorilla tape though is doing a good job of keeping from scuffing my clear coat about how to pull. So most families are going to have a hot glue gun somewhere around the house and you don't need the torch that I'm about to use but if you get a few hot glue gun sticks you can actually use your hot glue gun apply where you want to pull on the dent whether it's high or low right now we're going to start in the center and you can actually apply hot glue there and then stick a few hot glue sticks to it while it's still hot let that dry up and then you'll be able to use these to pull outwards and the hot glue will peel off the paint. It shouldn't cause an issue. We want to make sure we have a fairly clean surface. I forgot my rags in the house, so we're just going to use the inside of that shirt. Wipe the dust off a little bit. I don't need too high of a flame on that. Need to get these guys a little melty. Well, significantly melty, honestly. It is hot enough out here without this torch. And probably be easier to do with the hot glue gun than with the torch because you don't want to burn it. It's a fine line with the torch. Oh, there we go. We're coming loose. Now you hold that there. Kill our torch. Hold that there and let it cool off and it should form enough of a bond with the paint where we can actually get a pull. This part takes patience because you do have to wait for it to cool down. We're just about cooled all the way down there. Pretty firm to the touch everywhere. We'll give it a pull and see if we can actually get it to pop out. All right, just like that. We've got this bottom section popped. This top section still has a little bit of a dent, but that bottom part is gone. Now we've just got to peel off the hot glue. straight away it leaves a little bit of residue but you can
scratch that off. And if you applied it with the hot glue gun instead of the torch, my glue probably got a little hotter than the torch or, or than the uh, gun would make it. Hot glue gun comes off a little bit smoother, but you can scrape that off. And if you're doing body work anyway, you're probably going to end up making some little nicks, so you'll be polishing after. So we'll get that melted, stick it right up in here, do a little more relief right there, and see if we can't get this top little section out. But that right there, that's straight. Body line's back intact. From there down, that dent's completely gone. I've done some more tapping right there. We've got this secured. We'll give it one more pull and see if we can do anything on this one. There we go. That's better. Again, just a little bit of residue. And this guy right up here, a little bit of dent we have left. I'm not sure if I can get enough bite in the middle to get that out. Okay, here I think we have a pretty good view of the door. I uh, ran out of storage while I was doing the fender, but basically the update is pulled out that top dent that you saw and then left that little bit of a dent right at the top of the corner or top of the fender. And that one is just too small for the hot glue trick to work. And uh, that little tiny dent is just going to have to stay there, but everything else, nice and smooth, looks good. So we are going to move on. To the door now it appears we've got actually what seems to be three creases we've got one dent going down here and kind of a separate dent here they sort of transition into each other right there looks like a branch hit here and drug down really hard and came off there so we're going to try to get some compression out of here up here is going to be difficult because i need to tap it down right on the very top and i'm going to hit that trim and then we'll try to get some compression out of that right there which is just barely above this trim and then we'll put some hot glue I think maybe we'll maybe we'll start here well, well we might start here because that's got that crease in the body line just like the fender had so we'll do some tapping and some pulling and uh, see what we can do just putting that block there for protection against the rest of the paint there's already a chip on the top that's going to be really hard to hit. I don't think we're going to be able to do much for that part. Let's see about down here. cooled off let's give it a pull and see what we got well I took out that one most of this one all in one pull now we've just got this crease right across this body line and that hard hard crease up here which with that hard crease I might be able to pop this up we'll probably still have a little bit of a dent up top let's get the glue heated back up try it again back right down firm to the touch again let's see if we can get this Well, that looks like it did it and that right there probably not going to be able to get same thing as the other fender or as the fender up front there we go now we've got a little bit of hot glue resin to get off of there Let's scrape that all off i want to come back and wash the car which that's going to be another project it really needs to be washed but Knowing I was going to do this sort of stuff to it beforehand, I figured I'd put that off. So we still got a little warp there. Still got a little dent there. And that might, you know, I'll try that. That might be big enough I could pull something. 
hammer here a little more maybe tap right there just a little bit don't want to put it back in Let's see if I can get it because that thing's about that big by about that big that could be big enough I could pull the middle we'll see let's see if we can get this top section out I'm not confident on this one the smaller a dent gets the harder it is to pull you need a more concentrated area with a pretty good amount of force Uh, I don't think it did too awful much on there. Yep, I think that's that's just about the same. Well, can't record the shot. I think we're just going to live with this little dent up top. But hey, we went from a completely caved in door, basically, to one that's pretty well flat. I'll just have to get this trim to stick back down where it got bent. A little bit of adhesive should handle that. And that will do it. So other than the process of waiting on the hot glue to dry, which does take a couple of minutes, you've got to let it get all the way dry, all the way to the core and cooled off, so that you don't get good adhesion. Other than that process, um, which was a couple of minutes each time, this has been pretty quick. Um, outside of that's probably been I'd say 15 minutes worth of work, and now we don't have a caved-in fender, we don't have a caved-in door. I'd say we're coming right along. That will do it for today. I think we've done a pretty good job pulling those dents out. Uh, the car is never going to be perfect. I knew that going into it. It's, what it would require is a lot more body work and a complete respray, and that amount of money is not really worth putting into this vehicle. But if we can get it looking a lot better than it was, which we're already on, on the way to do so, then that's going to help it be more attractive to the next person who buys the vehicle and that's really the whole point of this and showing you also that if you've got a big ugly dent inside of your car it's not that hard to actually take care of that and pop it out and make it look 90 percent better which you know is 90 percent better than 100 percent bad so thank you for joining me once again this has been harley on harley's modern life thank you very much for watching i hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world today and i will see you next time